Welcome back 530 right now and tonight families of people killed by drunk drivers say a massive loophole in a law designed to prevent such deaths is actually putting more people at risk. Noah's law was supposed to put breathalyzer ignition devices on cars for people who were arrested for drunk driving. Fox 5 Tom Fitzgerald live tonight in Rockville with those details. Hey Fitz. Good evening. It was nearly seven years ago that Montgomery County police officer Noah Liotta lost his life nearby this stretch of Rockville Pike by a drunk driver while the officer was on a drunk driving task force mission. Now, this law that bears his name, Noah's Law, was supposed to ensure that people who were arrested for drunk driving had to start using a breathalyzer to actually start their cars. However, his own family now says that this law is deeply flawed. Now, in the original language of the law, Noah's law said that anybody who was arrested for drunk driving had to start using these breathalyzer ignition locks in order to use their own vehicle. However, just before the law was signed into law, that language was changed to anyone who was convicted of drunk driving. And that's important because under the law, judges can order what's called a probation before adjudication, a P. BJ. What that means is even if somebody pleads guilty to drunk driving with a PBJ, the judge does not have to make a breathalyzer go on that person's vehicle. The victims of families who have lost loved ones to drunk driving say that is just wrong. The drunk driver took, hit my family and I doing approximately 125 miles per hour. He split our car in half. We did a couple of 360s, landed in an upright position, and he killed Darius. The gentleman that struck and killed Noah, he, will, he was a three-time offender. And he will tell you that it was the catch and release programs that led to his continued drinking and ultimately the loss of Noah's life. Okay, so what is the fix here? Under this fix law, what would be required is that anybody who is arrested and placed on probation would have to have the breathalyzer interlock placed on their vehicle for at least 180 days. And this is important because both police and lawmakers say this would not only close that loophole, but more importantly, save people's lives. Is this an effective tool to stop drunk driving? Absolutely. There, you have statistics from across the country from 30 other states about the reductions they've made in, in drunk driving arrests. Driving drunk is not a mistake. It's a crime. And second of all, this isn't punishment. This is a tool of safety. So how widespread is this? Well, the Liotta family themselves went to 328 drunk driving court hearings here in Montgomery County. They say 217 times a judge issued one of these uh, probation before judgments, and that individual did not have to have a breathalyzer on their vehicle. We are live in Rockville tonight. We'll send it back into you.